Hey everyone, welcome to Windy Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll be creating a simple poster design as always on Photoshop. And before starting my tutorial, I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporter. Thank you so much guys. Thank you so much for your support. That means a lot to me. Uh, and with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create a composition. So for that, go to file, click on new. I'll just go for 600 by 800 pixel and let's keep the resolution as 300 and let's change the color mode to RGB, bitrate to 16 and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create. And then let's go over here and let's make a selection. I just want to take out this clip part. So for that, I'm using uh, the quick selection tool and uh, let's make a quick selection and then let's create a layer max and let's for this small part let's go to the brush and let's go for a hard brush and make sure the color is black and let's get these parts out okay so here we have now let's now let's drag and drop this image over here and I'll just minimize it for now. Now let's convert it as a smart object and control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right over here and right click let's wrap it. Now let's make a copy control J and control T and right click let's do a horizontal flip and let's keep it right over here go over here turn that guides off drag and drop this sky image over here and let's keep it as a background let's keep it all the way to the bottom Control t let's make it a little smaller Oops, somewhere around that side and now let's drag and drop this image over here too and Control t let's make it a little smaller too and let's rotate this one and let's keep the brighter part right over here and let's apply a hue and saturation and let's uh, desaturate this one maybe somewhere around this looks good to me now let's make a layer max and go to the brush and let's get rid of those parts so before that use a soft brush and let's get rid of those parts I just want that brighter part only yep maybe something like that now let's uh, drag and drop this image over here and let's keep it all the way to the top and control T let's make it a little smaller all right now let's uh, drag and drop uh, this image over here too and let's Keep it under this layer and control T let's make it a little smaller and let's keep it right over here and now let's create a layer max and let's uh, erase the, that hard edges over here so for that go to the brush and then make sure the color is black again and let's erase those parts and I'll just keep it under that hue and saturation so so that everything is black and white and maybe right over here now let's drag and drop this image over here too and let's keep it right over here and let's change the blending mode to screen and control T let's keep it somewhere over here go over here create a new layer and let's create a clipping max and go to the brush and from here let's choose a lighter color and let's change the blending mode to screen make the brush size a little smaller and let's add some glow right over here on the edges so all right now let's create a new layer and let's go to the edit go to fill and let's go for 50 percent gray and let's change it to soft light again and let's do some dodge and burn so go over here add a burn tool and let's make those parts a little darker 
and we're gonna do some color adjustment for this layer too so just keep it like that for now now let's add a dodge tool so go over here let's add a dodge and for the dodge let's increase exposure just a little more and let's add a dodge right over here and maybe some right over here too and all right let's do a uh, color adjustment for this layer so select this one go to filter let's go to the camera raw filter and let's uh, go to the detail tab let's increase the noise reduction just a little touch and from the basic let's increase the clarity and let's increase the texture and go to the color mixture and let's uh, drop down the saturation for red and orange just a little touch and let's click OK and let's do the same thing for this cliff layer so select this layer go to the filter and let's apply a camera raw filter and for this one let's uh, go to the basic tab increase the clarity and let's drop down the vibrance and increase the texture too and from here let's uh, drop down the highlights and let's increase the shadow just a little touch and just keep the rest as default and let's click on OK. Now let's go to the another cliff layer and go over here, go to the filter and let's apply a camera raw filter again. And click over here and then just click on apply previous setting and let's click on OK. So here we have, now let's do some adjustment for this background there. So select this one, go to the filter and let's go to the camera raw filter again. And from here, let's uh, drop down the exposure just a little touch. And maybe let's drop down the highlights too. And increase the clarity. And let's drop down the vibrance. And let's click on OK. So now this is what we have. Now let's apply our color look. So go over here, click on color lookup. And from here, click on load. And let's select this mode LUT and let's click apply. So this is what we have. Now let's add some fog on the bottom. So create a new layer and go to the brush. And I will just go for this fog brush. And if you want to download the same brush, check on the description list below. Just to give some kind of dreamy look. And let's drop down the opacity just a little bit. And let's keep it under this layer. And again, let's create a new layer and go to the brush again and let's add some on the bottom. All right, now let's merge this layer. So Control Shift Alt and E. And let's go over here and let's go for a smudge tool. And from here, let's go for this brush. And again, for this brush, check on the description list below. So I will just make this Now let's add a layer max and before that let's add a solid under this layer too let's go over here and let's add a solid and let's make it a little darker and now let's fill the uh, layer max with a black color and again go back to the brush and this time i will just go for our uh, this is smoke brush and again if you want to download the same brush back check on the description list below and let's make the brush a little smaller and make sure the color is white and let's reveal that parts back and I'll just change the opacity so this gives a kind of patterns Now let's add some text. So go over here, let's add a text.
And now let's merge all this layer, Control Shift Alt and E. And let's go to the filter and let's apply our camera raw filter again. And let's do our final touch up. So for that, let's increase the clarity, increase the texture, let's increase the vibrance, just a little touch. And let's keep it like that. And now let's apply a color balance. And from here, let's increase the red just to give a kind of warmer tone. And let's see. Yep, so that's the final, and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys in the next video.